All right, here's uh, something that I hope will be interesting to somebody. And uh, I apologize if this doesn't make sense to uh, some of my uh, viewers. Um, but I'm working on a project with some guys at the Energetic Forum uh, that w deals with a very, very low voltage oscillator circuit that will run an LED. And Johnny Davro, uh, I'm crediting him for this because of the way he did it. It's probably a very old circuit, like a blocking oscillator, but the way he did it was really, really neat. And then Slider uh, made the suggestion to try to run it on felt A modules, and sure enough, I got it to work. This is the circuit right here. Uh, it just uses one NPN transistor, and I'm using a little 2 and 222. It uses a microwave oven transformer, and um, you could probably use other transformers. I tried a uh, regular 12 uh, volt uh, 110 and a 6 volt 110 yesterday, and it didn't work. So this transformer may be critical. I don't know. Uh, I am using a 1 meg pot here now, Johnny, instead of your 22K. And then I switched to a very small capacitor here. It's just 100 microfarad. And then these two felt A modules in series. And I don't recall what they uh, are rated at. Uh, I wish I could help you out there, but that was just what I had on hand. They're very old. But the uh, circuit will fire up at about uh, 70 millivolts and 1 milliamp. And uh, this is the date today. It's the uh, 8th of July, 2012. Now, this is the setup right here. You can see I have a radio so you can hear it, just like what Johnny showed. And these two felt A modules. And there's the voltage on the, uh, the uh, little capacitor, the 100 microfarad capacitor right there. This is not a super capacitor. This is just a regular 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. And a couple of these felt A modules in series. They just put in series right there. And then that's the voltage on the capacitor right there. Now I have prepared this experiment in advance. I put the microwave oven transformer in the freezer and got it very, very cold. What I'm going to use is the air temperature in the room differentiated against the cold of that steel transformer to produce the voltage I need, which has to be over 70 millivolts, to run this little oscillator. And why I think this is kind of important is this means that you could, in a cold, dark place, you could, if, if you were inside the dwelling at room temperature, you could use the temperature differential between the outside temperature and the inside temperature to make light. And somebody asked me, what's the point of all this? Well, we're trying to figure out a way to make light um, for folks that are still using fire. And uh, it's, it's, it should be done by somebody. Somebody should figure out a way to to solve that problem of using fire to make light. So that's why we're working on this project. But you know, let me turn this on and show you how it works. Here's the radio so you can hear it. I'm going to put the felt A modules right on top here where it's cold. And there goes the voltage. Now I'm going to kick start this like I showed yesterday. And there it goes. That's the radio you're hearing. There's voltage. Now this is going to drop off as this uh, temperature goes to equilibrium. And uh, this is what would happen if you didn't have some way to differentiate the temperature between the inside of the dwelling and the outside of the dwelling. This would gradually uh, go to equilibrium. So you have to have some way to differentiate the temperature between inside and outside temperature. Now I can make this go back up just by using my body heat. And this is something else I thought was interesting. Watch, watch the voltage. I'm going to put my hand on this. And there goes voltage back up. Of course, LED comes on much, much, much brighter. And there goes voltage on that. Take my hand off. It's going to drop back down again. But uh, this is one way to make light that I had not seen before using very, very low voltage. And actually, it's about one milliamp is all to make the light. And um, like I say, the value I see in this is in a cold, dark place where you didn't have sun, you didn't have wind, you could use the temperature differential and use these felt A modules, which they normally drive with electricity, and use them in cooling units, like little uh, travel coolers and stuff. But if you put a temperature differential between each side, they generate voltage. Let me make this go back up again with my body heat here. And it goes back up again. And that's just my hand 
as the differential between the cold transformer which was in the freezer and my hand and that makes light folks so anyway I just wanted to share this with the guys at the energetic forum and uh, this was actually Slider's idea, I believe, to use the felt A modules. Now, you could use a thermal couple, too, I imagine, a, a steel wire and copper wire, a thermal couple and a flame to generate this uh, low voltage with the amperage you need to make that light work. But uh, I just thought this was really, really um, something that needed to be shared with uh, the guys that are really doing research on how to get away from people that are using fire to make light still. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this.